Information and the flow of information that's represented through the digital revolution is extraordinarily powerful. I, I, I'm not sure I would answer it as a good or a bad thing because I think the answer is both. I think that um, certainly there is more information available. People are able to connect to one another so there is an environment that's not always mediated um, and you see the implications of that. The recent train um, accident in China and the government obviously had their line about what happened but there were people that were on location that were that were talking about this is what I saw and so I think the power of that is is tremendously important the people in China then um, forced the officials to um, exhume the the train car which they had immediately buried after the accident so I think that that's a, just a small example of the power I think the challenge of it though is that it also can be a powerful tool for those who want to abuse the exchange of information. And I think the accuracy of information and just the whole idea of media literacy is going to be an extraordinarily important um, uh, topic for um, certainly for kids as, as, as they're educated, but I think also for all of us to really understand what are the sources of information and how that could be manipulated and what we need to do to pay attention to that. This has been a very complicated year uh, for us as we've tried to make the case for the um, federal funding that we receive. We've, we receive about 15 percent of our funding from the federal government. That's an aggregate number. So the funding actually goes to our stations. It doesn't come to PBS. Some of our stations get a much smaller percentage, 7 or 8 percent. Others, in, particularly in rural parts of the country, it can be as high as 40 and 50 percent. So the government funding is actually very important if you care about access and making sure that all Americans have the ability to see public broadcasting content. And so um, we are making um, a great effort, uh, frankly, to reach out to uh, Americans, to constituents, because at the end of the day, through this past year, that actually is what made the difference. That's actually what retained our funding, was individuals saying, wait a minute, this organization is not left or right. This organization is one that is trying to give us information, information that we need, information that our children rely upon, and information that our community relies upon to help make informed decisions. And I think if we're able to continue to touch the people that are using our services and remind them that it's their voice that will determine whether or not we are in existence in the future, I think that is what's going to help us you know, continue not only to survive, but frankly, to grow in this new environment.